All right. Uh, in unhealthy entertainment news. Oh. Submitted by Mafia Queen Nikki. I took the crown from Gio. Oh, Lily. Lily. Pamela Anderson wants all of reality TV to be canceled. Why? Why, why, because why does why her she, voice she, no, matter? She, the Queen of Baywatch <laughs> has now proclaimed all reality TV <laughs> shall be closed. Why do you think? Because of her fucking she, sex tapes that were always leaked. Nope. Her because she's so irrelevant dick. now. Nope. Oh man, she didn't age well, dude. Yeah, oh. she, she, she looks fucking She got some wrong. work done. She got some work done. Because she yeah, was order. pitching a show and they didn't pick it up, so she doesn't want anything else to be aired. Yeah. No. Because they are not reality. Uh, no. Okay, so Pamela Anderson is calling for an end to reality TV because there are reports that almost 40 people have killed themselves after being on a reality TV show. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. People can't deal with that? Is, yeah. Um, that is really high. Yeah, so a lot of these people have mental health issues and it's really just like greedy agents trying to get money out of these people and then these people find fame and they're not equipped to deal with it. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah. That's true, like. Suicides have. Overnight fame can, if you're not prepared for that right. shit, if, Fucks you hard, especially if you're already mentally fragile. Yeah, mm. and, and those are the kind of people that kind of go on reality right. TV shows or that get selected to go on reality because they're funny, because they're entertaining. Yeah, it's the, the the narrative is is already written out for you. So if you're the villain, people have this person. People don't realize that reality is not reality. Yeah, so they yeah, look at this human being like a piece of trash for the yeah. rest of their lives. So yeah, I can't like, believe you did that. I can't believe you were fucking such a bitch on the show. But that was oh. what the producers told me to yeah. do. Like I had to yeah. do that. Or they edit it so that you look like a bitch, exactly. even though that's not even what you said. Yep. Stuff like that. Some shit. Have you seen um what's that show called? Uh Jersey Shore? No, it's like that. Real it's, real real life. It, no, it's real that TV. show that's like about it's a lifetime show, but it's about um Golden Girls? Like the backs ba <laughs> the Bachelor. It's like behind the scenes of the Bachelor, but it's a scripted show, it's a drama. It uh What's it called? Re know. It's real, real life or real, real housewives of the OC. No, it's called I think real life or. Okay, well let's explain. Yeah. What it is. Well, anyway, it's like it, they go into it's a scripted show and it's a drama, but it's um, the main characters are the producers of a bachelor type show, and it's about how they trick people into saying certain things so that they can get sound bites and drama and all this stuff, and they kind of mess with real people's lives. Yeah. And there are like deaths and on the show and cheating yeah, I mean, and all kinds of shit. There was some big drama around the biggest loser where they were the agents were trying to get them to take uh uh diet pills. Yeah, but it was like the harmful shit like mm. you know no, yeah know. diet pills and, and then and then they would like fuck with them and, and, and like like dangle a donut in front of them or some shit, you know? And, <laughs> yeah, they're treated like, like we're paying you so we can do whatever level. we want to. Oh, that shit would've worked on me so good, dude. So, ah, I think that Christmas, I know. you know I love Christmas cream, motherfucker! Yeah, but it's a highly um, scripted and controlled environment where they're trying to control everything that happens. You know what yeah. they even do? They even hire psychologists and they go, oh, this personality and that personality, perfect. That's going to make some good drama there. We got a bipolar person. We got this person over here with high anxiety. They're going to fucking fight. Yeah, that's what they do. There's a type A right here and this so one's reckless. They're going to fight. You know? Pam Anderson has been on Big Brother, Dancing on Ice, and Dancing with the Stars. So she's been on um, reality TV and she brands it an epidemic of ugliness. She and quotes, um, you are usually bullied into doing TV like this by agents fighting over commissions. You're left without any great amount of joy or money. You feel used, dirty, and with no feeling of accomplishment. And you couple that with mental health issues and boom, you kill yourself. That's why she looks so rough mm -hmm. now. I feel so sad the way she went down. Cause I'm like, Baywatch, she Man, she had the hottest, the nicest titties in Hollywood ever, dude. All the Baywatch girls at the prime, like with Carmen Electra, Carmen all of them, Electra, all dude. of them were hot, dude. They were like, that was, oh, that was so awesome. Well, she's 51 now, so it's yeah. not like 51. It's not like, oh, she looks like a, you know. No, but I think it's like the ass 30 year old, you know, like she's she's like. But all I remember is her oh, running gosh. on a beach really slow and having her bajamas I mean, in her face. There's, there's, there's getting old, 
but she's like the the stripper that got old. She's not like the. Because he used to. She was very, very, very sexualized. Well, because yeah, she was a and Playboy now, model. She needs to hold on to her but sexuality. If was, yeah. If this was just someone's she looks mom. Good. Yeah. This is like this really? is her now. Yeah. For fifty. Like yeah. She's, no, she she's looks got like she got work done though. Injections and yeah. If you went like if you saw this, this was like your friend's mom and like that, and she wasn't a movie star. Like you'd be like, oh, it's just a regular. That is a very good photo of her though. That is. No, I would just think, damn, she got some. This is a work this is a promo photo. Who the fuck is that guy? Oh, this is when she was dancing on dancing, on dancing yeah. with the, oh. dancing on ice, or yeah, I didn't even know that was a show. But um, but yeah, so she's just um, speaking from experience, and she's just hates. She's seen a lot of people broken after reality TV, and um, it big the Big Brother psychologist Emma Kenny branded these figures of suicides horrendous. So What's she's, Big she's Brother saying that? Uh, Big Brother? Oh, it's where they take a bunch of like semi-celebrities, like B-list celebrities, and they put them in a house together, and you just, it's like real world, but with mm, cameras with everywhere, with like 24 hours. Yeah. yeah, but if there wasn't any drama, where would the entertainment be? Well, exactly. exactly. That's that's what reality TV thrives yeah. off of. Yeah. I actually wouldn't mind just watching people live their lives. And seeing what happens naturally, it would just be it would just have to be filmed over a very long period of time, like, like vlogs. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what yeah, vlogs like, like pretty vlogs. much. Vlogs aren't like that either, though. Vlogs vlogs are different though, because vlogs you still have to perform. I would see a Pamela so Anderson mukbang. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, uh, there's. Y you said what? I would see a Pamela Anderson mukbang. Oh. It's like, <laughs> you should watch Trisha Paytas' channel. Yeah. I would see a uh, uh, Nicholas Cage Ch Nicholas Cage baking a cake. I would too. Yeah. Because yeah. you would have to wait for real drama to happen. It would just, you only get like maybe five episodes out of the whole year. But when that shit happens, it fucking happens now. That shit, like if it was constantly recorded? Yeah, like fucking Nicolas Cage is like, well, I'm sick and tired of you fucking making a spy and it doesn't come out right. You know, or some shit. I don't know. It'd be amazing. So you want a celebrity just but like live in their life? I want to see how they actually fucking are. Like I want to see them out. Yeah. How they still how, how they deal with like uh, marital problems. I want to see them fight. I think that's why. So you want a Truman oh. show? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you want. I think that's why Punk was so good, because when they set it up, like oh, you get to yeah, see a completely natural, like you see like Justin Timberlake like freaking out like oh no they're taking all my friends you what the fuck and you're like oh that's motherfucker's flamboyant as a motherfucker I didn't know that <laughs> or when you saw like like uh, there was that one where they they set up a fire to like the Rock's trailer oh, and he was gonna beat that. the living shit out of the security guard <laughs> yeah, you just get yeah. to see all these and then you see there's this one where they had a boat explode in front of like Taylor Swift's house. And Taylor Swift started like freaking out and she was all crying and shit. I'm like, damn, that's tight. Yeah. If they had me on punk and all my shit started exploding, <laughs> I would just been like, it's a Monday. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what's going on? What's going on with this guy, dude? <laughs> Car stolen? All right. <laughs> I wonder if, I I wonder wonder if Aaron on it too. Who? Hmm. On punk. Oh, the celebrities. The acting is really I, good yeah, for people that you don't expect. Yeah, it, yeah, I think that they they don't know. I I think that they actually do get pranked. I used to love the Yo Mama show with Wilder oh, yeah. Wilmer oh Valderrama. Do remember that really shit, bad. dude? The Dude, yo, just, Rom, yo Mama battles? I just remember one joke that for some reason had me dying laughing. It was because there was this guy, he had these uh, spikes on his wrist and he was also a fat guy. And then this guy <laughs> said, he was like, he didn't even make a Yo Mama joke. He goes, he goes, why the fuck do you have those meat tenderizers on your wrist? <laughs> and I started laughing my ass off for some reason because the guy looked so embarrassed about it, dude. Yeah. He's like, oh, I should have not worn these things. <laughs> I was like, I should have worn these things. I mean, my one weakness. I know, he just looked at his wrist like he was like, I fucked up. <laughs> oh, I love that show. I like, I like reality TV that's like um, centered around a person and their character. Like Robin um, Big. Big. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, Big Homie. Yeah, or like um, oh. like those fixer upper shows. Like like. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's positive and it's not. Hit my ride. Drama. Yeah. Hit my ride was dope. Hit my ride. Dude, I love like uh, the the what's her Joanna Chip and Joanna Gaines show where they fix people's houses and stuff. Yeah, they yeah, find like them that, the, like yeah. this dumpy ass property and they make it look like a dream castle. There's like an Airbnb one right now on Netflix. I forgot the name of it, but. It was rent, rent my home or something. I forgot. That is a very boring rent my title. home. <laughs> no, but yeah, they yeah. like fix and flip it, yeah, and like all it's, it's pretty dope. It's <laughs> rentmyhome.com. Um, that's an admirable cause, though, but it ain't gonna change anything, you know? Yeah. Just because Pamela Anderson. I mean, if people up. stop watching and people stop signing up for it, 
then it won't exist. Naked but people afraid, love baby. it. Yeah, exactly. People yeah. love it. But people would just do it on their own on Instagram or on uh, like YouTube yeah. or whatever. Like it's such a, it's always gonna be. People love seeing other people be train wrecks. That's just always how it's been. It is true. In the news, yeah. in like yeah, because then they go, TV. well, my life is bad, but at least I'm not like them. So yeah, you know, exactly. I'm the biggest loser all the time because I was like, at least I'm not fat like them. Exactly. <laughs> they would cry. <laughs> <laughs> you and Steve are so similar. I don't even that's why he's so like funny. <laughs> yeah, I always saw it as like these people are so delusional that they don't live in my world. They're so fame obsessed. Yeah, they just don't. Yeah. I, the only reality show I I liked. Well, there's two of them. The first one was America's Top Model. Ooh, Teen oh, Mom. I, like I like that a lot. But those are because they have like little mini competitions. Yeah, that's like American movie. Idol. And yeah. then I, the other one I liked was um, uh, fuck. How did I? Survivor. No, I never watched oh, Jersey Shore? Survivor. Yes, Jersey Shore. Oh, oh, they're just so out of this world. Like, it was characters. just so, it was, yeah, it was like a guilty pleasure because I'm like, yeah. these people are not real. But <laughs> oh, it seems like they're real. My first favorite reality show was was watching Ozzy. Uh, oh, oh, Family yeah. Jewels. Yeah. yeah, he was oh, so I interesting. Didn't like it. Yeah. You guys never watched Teen Mom? No. That was depressing. It made to me. me sad. Yeah. Did you guys watch Real World? Yes, TV? and Ro that, that was so fake. Yeah. I mean, the real world was the first one. I never watched that oh, one. No. Yeah, it was like basically people get their cars towed and you see how they react, but it was so fucking fake. <gasps> yes, uh, I remember because they they did a karate yeah. one and then they came out and fucked them up karate like, but it was like they were spinning around. What about cops? Yeah. Huh? Cops. That's the original reality oh, show, dude. True. Remember the intro? Yeah. 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 What you gonna, gonna do? do? That was the original <laughs> world star. That was yeah. <laughs> See, train wrecks again. Yeah. Like yeah. it's we all do centered like, about. Do like that stuff. That's why drama always works well on uh, YouTube as well too. Yeah. Same thing. Well, and if you look at sitcoms, it's just a scripted train wreck. Like it's yeah. people in pain. It's not funny to the character, but it's funny to us watching. I, I love Lucy. Train wrecks every day. Yeah, I love Lucy. I'm all. I guess yeah. when there's real life consequences and people just don't recover and they die. Yeah, people don't think about these people yeah. as being actual. Yeah, they're people. characters. Right. Like we're all characters, right? When people talk about us and say shit about, we're not human beings. Yeah, when you're on a screen in yeah. someone's home, like there's a wall. It's like yeah, those yeah. aren't real people that I know. Those are. Yeah, of course, because the yeah. shit that they say. Like in the comments or to you or whatever, they won't say that to people in real life. Yeah, yeah I it's, wish you would. No, they're saying they're saying it as like because we're characters. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's we do it. We even do they it. pick their villains. Yeah, they yeah, pick their yeah. heroes. Dude, yeah. These little eight year olds are so mean. They're they so are. mean. I know. They're like you guys. Sometimes I'm like, damn, you guys can really form sentences really well. Oh shit, dude. I bet you they could type better than they could speak. Oh for sure. They're only fifty like, year olds. Let me oh, tell yeah. you something here, David. What you said was so rude about this, this, and that. I'm like, they dissect everything like, and then you go. To their page and they're like they're 52. <laughs> you dweeb. <laughs> In this video, you said this. I was like, yeah, I'm a hypocrite, dude. <laughs> dude I was like, I'm the biggest hypocrite on earth. Well, they try to like dissect every little thing you say. Well, what would you mean by that? Yeah. Does that mean that you hate this race of people? It's like, no, I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what'll happen if we egg them on. Like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, we do. What will happen?